So, FIFA 22 has finally dropped. I'm going to be opening 52 rare gold players packs to see what we get and see if they're worth doing. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, yes, I have 2.5 million coins and 70,000 FIFA points loaded up. All I'm going to say is I'm a content creator, all right? I will be running an RTG this year as well, but I'm a content creator, which is why I've spent money on the game and why I have so many coins, all right? Please, you don't have to tell me that I need to touch grass or I need to go outside. I know those things. One day that'll happen. Anyway, gold upgrade packs. These require 11 non-rare golds. And at the start of the game, when gold non-rares aren't going for a ton of coins, there you probably get these done for about 4,400 coins per pack. Total cost here of about 220k. So we're going to see if we can make that back. Now, if you want to see how to tell if it's a board, walkout, or normal pack, you can find that on the second channel, More Haber. Link in the description down below. I'll post a video on that. Go check it out after this video if you want to. It's, it's really easy. You'll be able to see. Um, but I thought we would literally just pop these packs open and see what we get realistically um, and see if we can get some good pulls. Now, I actually have a full transfer list, so I'm going to have to quickly sort that out because um, I do want to keep Ismaili Asar. I think he's going to go for a little bit. I'm going to write down uh, the good players we get as well um, so we can sort of come to terms at the end of it and see what we got from 50 gold upgrades. But I thought we'd just pop these open straight away. 50 is very excessive, um, but like on an RTG account... By the way, here's a board. Um, on an RTG... Oh, Telemann's not bad. That's all right, 84 rated. On an RTG account or like a normal account or, or, or what I would say... Most of you guys, we get 284, which is pretty decent. Most of you guys, the accounts you guys will be rocking. Um, what I would say, I've discarded PK, 84 typically don't go for a lot until SBCs come out. Uh, what I would say for you guys is, uh, when I run an RTG, when I do an account where I don't spend money on it, I pop a gold upgrade every every maybe couple of days, every day. I, like, I do a few every so often just because they're a bit of fun to see what you can get. Um, if you find yourself with 11 non-rares, typically just throw them into a gold upgrade. Just just give it a go. Um, I'm exactly the same with that. Um, now, a lot of these cards might be going for a little bit. So you see PK might be going for a bit. What you need to realize is that I have a transfer list full of very good meta players that I've packed through opening packs over the last day. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm prioritizing my, pri my transfer list because... Of the cards I've got on there, it makes no sense holding onto a three, four thousand coin PK on the transfer list. I literally may as well discard him because I've got better stuff on the transfer list, right? Um, but yeah, so I would say, like, if you run an RTG account, just pop these every so often because you can get some decent stuff in there, and obviously they are untradeable. But for 11 non rares, you can get lucky and just get a decent pull. Um, I remember last year in gold upgrades on my RTG account, I did really well. We get another board. It's going to be ah, 84 rated Savage. But if like if you're rocking this RTG account and you're getting an 84 Savage or like we saw Telemans and you don't have a ton of coins, it can be a decent boost. Like Telemans specifically, um, if you're running an RTG and you've got a Prem team, that could be a good boost to your midfield. So I would say, um, yeah, maybe go for it. Uh, see if you can do a couple. Um, I go and do the advanced SPCs first to make sure the gold non rares you're using don't sell for a lot. Um, but it's always worth just popping a gold upgrade or two and just seeing what they're like. We have another board here. It's German Stro- Oh, I thought that might have been Werner. That would have been sick if it was Werner. It's Voland. Yikes. Voland and Mario Fernandes. Um, I would take it, I guess. It's an 83. Like I said, no point putting them on the transfer list. I've already got other stuff on there. But it's a decent pull. Um, we are, what, eight packs in so far? And we've had an 80, We've had a few 84s and a, and a couple 83s and whatnot. We've actually started off pretty well. From these packs, what I'm sort of looking for here... Um, and what I would be looking for is the Adama Chores, that is Mali Asars, as you saw. The kind of players that getting them untradeable aren't too difficult to pack, the eight, you know, the 75 to 82 rated players, um, but actually go for a lot. So, you know, adding them to the club is a, is a good addition. Um, you know, the St. Just Days, the Lacroix, the um, Alfonso Davies and whatnot, the cards that are sort of lower rated, that aren't super high rated cards, um, that will make a difference having them in the club. That's what I'm looking for from gold upgrades, and that's what I would say you guys should look out for as well. So, so far, I'd say our, our best pulls have been Saar and Tielemans, um, but I do think that these are worth it, regardless of whether we get good pack luck or not. I do think for 11 non-rares, so long as you don't have other SBCs to put your non-rares into, like advanced SBCs, I think it's worth just having a little pop. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below how you guys are getting on with FIFA 22, whether you're enjoying the game. As we get aboard, uh, I thought that might make a job, it's not. Uh, but let me know how are you guys getting on with FIFA 22. Are you guys enjoying the game? Do you prefer it to FIFA 21? I'd assume most of you say yes. My personal opinion so far in the game, having played it for about a day to a day and a bit, um, I'm enjoying it, man. I think the gameplay is a bit slow. 
um definitely feel slow in comparison to fifa 21 and there are definitely a few things that you know uh, are, are a hard adjustment but i think the gameplay in general feels feels good it feels like it's a challenge to actually try and create good enough chances to score um and then on the menus in general like i'm, I'm enjoying the experience so far um myself along with majority of content creators last year when the next gen version of the game came out we stayed on the old gen version of the game because the old gen version of the gameplay was better but it's nice being on the next gen version of the game because the menus are super smooth on the next gen version um the the experience is nicer the colors are brighter it looks really nice and I'm, I'm i'm enjoying the experience so far but also it's a brand new fifa typically you do enjoy the experience of a brand new fifa but walk out we got our first walk out it's, it's hummels it is Hummels, unfortunately. As you can see with walkouts, by the way, they literally just kind of appear on the screen. Uh, they just start walking out straight away. If there is some kind of, like, strange tell, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point, um, like, before the pack actually opens. But, yeah, they kind of just appear. Hey, the Dortmund pack. Um, but we got our first walkout. Is Matt's Hummels. We'll take that. Not too shabby. Um, in terms of, like, price, I am going to discard that because I've got, like, majority of stuff on the transfer list is worth more than that. Um, in terms of, like, I'm going to write Hummels down as well. In terms of um, prices for players we pack in this video uh it'll be hard to price up how much we spent versus a return because uh the basically the full games just came out so uh it'll be hard to kind of gauge you know w will this guy go for 5k 10k 15k will he go for 2k um because you don't know the prices yet um so I'll leave that to you guys in the comments down below to dictate or decide for yourself whether you think it's worth it. Um, I'll just go through the, the kind of good pulls I've had so far um, at the end of the video. And then you guys can see whether you think it's worth it or not. Um, but so far, the notable pulls are Saar, Tielemans and Hummels. Um, so yeah, we've got 30 packs remaining. So I don't think we're doing too bad so far. We have another board here. It's going to be uh, Italian centre back. It's a Cherby. I was hoping that'd be left wing back because uh, I know spinazzola has got a very nice card. Um, Nacho Fernandez is not bad though. He's um, an interesting one because I think I, like he's not going for a lot, but like you know he's got some good links. Um, I think he'll be one that people use in their starter squads this year. You know he's got links to Eder Militao and, and and David Alaba for example. Um, so that'd be pretty interesting. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next good pack pool. We're at the halfway mark now. That we're 20 pi, tw excuse me, 25. I was gonna say 20 pi, 25 packs remaining. Um, now of these packs, I mean, so far only one walkout in the first half. I was hoping for a little bit better than that. Um, and we've had a couple of boards here and there. If I didn't already have like a full club, really, I think you know we'd be doing all right. But because I've had to discard a lot of these players, you know, it's it, it hasn't seemed like the best experience in the world. We do have another board here though. It's going to be German centre back Ginter. Hmm, it's okay. Another 84. Like you say, you can't really complain too much about 84s, but at the same time, like. When you're in my scenario, it's not great. But when you guys are doing it, when you don't have full clubs and you're doing RTGs and stuff, that's a decent pull because it's good fodder for a potential future SBC. Back-to-back -back boards, it's going to be Angelino. Again, a card that doesn't really appeal to me. I don't think it's going to be that usable, unfortunately. Um, and uh, Luis Nani. So, yeah, not ideal. Um, but, yeah, like, first half wasn't ideal. I thought we'd do a little bit better. But it only takes one pull. It only takes that one nice expensive pull and it's all worth it. We have another board. It's going to be Argentina striker Icardi. I was hoping that would be either Correa or Icardi. Not Icardi, sorry. Um, Lataro Martinez. Yao Felix in there though. That's decent. I think he'll be worth a little bit when the full game comes out. That's definitely someone I'm going to write down. Joao Felix is a good one. Let me write Joao Felix down because he is solid. We, we like that. We've got 20 packs remaining as well. So he's still got, still got a good amount of packs. Like I said, it takes one good player. And all of a sudden, this seems like the best best decision I've ever made. Uh, like I said, though, it did take me a lot of time to build these packs. Um, it took me a long time to build these packs on the console. It, it took me a good, like, 45 minutes to build all these packs. Because it was just... Oh, it was, it was... I don't want to talk about it. I know there'll be a lot of you guys asking me as well. What am I doing with my coins? Why do I need 2.6 million coins? I just want Ronaldo as we get team viewer himself. Donny van der Bench. Um, I just want Ronaldo. That's literally it. I just want Ronaldo. I want, uh, you know, I've got Bruno, I've got Pogba. I pack them both. I just want to buy Ronaldo, and that's literally it. So I just want enough coins to buy Ronaldo. And I'll have, like, last year, uh, and I know, like, this video might not seem like similar to how we do share plays. I just kind of want to talk a little bit more. Uh, last year, I spent uh way more thief points at the start than i did this year i didn't really uh, like i haven't spent as much this year as i did last year um and i had like 20 million coins last year very early let me tell you right now having like the best team you can possibly get month one of fifa gets very boring 
I enjoy having a couple of sick players that I really like in real life. For example, I really want to get Rooney at some point. I want to get Van Persie at some point. I want to try them both out. Uh, I want to get Ronaldo ASAP just because it's Ronaldo and I'm loving him in real life and I want to use him in FIFA. Um, but when you're using like Hullet, Vieira, R9, Zidane, Ronaldinho, whatnot, it gets very boring quickly because there's nowhere to go. There's no improvement on those players. So you want like... If you ask me, and obviously like there's going to be a very finite amount of people that can be in a position to actually you know, do what I do and spend as much as I do. But uh, I would say don't overdo it because it does get very boring. It does get very boring very quickly and it's just not worth it. Um, but yeah, we have 13 packs remaining. I'm wondering if there is anything left in these packs for us to get excited about. I'm hoping there is, but we'll see. And we're on to the last 10 packs. Let's see if we're going to get something good. I'll open all of these up um, and chat to you guys whilst we do. Let me in the comments down below, by the way, if you like these kind of videos where it's more so like I just talk a little bit more as opposed to it's just, all right, next pack. All right, next pack. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback uh, if you do prefer it or not. Um, a little bit different. I always get a bit nervous when videos turn out like this and I'm rambling on a little bit because I know a lot of people just like the snappy pack, 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 pack. But... It'd be, it'd be nice to be reassured if you guys do enjoy this kind of content. Anyway, we got another board. Anthony's not bad. Anthony's a decent player because he's got five-star skills. He'll be a good starter player. We've got Gosens. Uh, I'm actually going to write Anthony down because that is a decent pull. Uh, Anthony down there. That is a decent pull because I think he'll go for a decent amount at the start of the game as well. He's been hyped up. He's got the five-star skill boost. Um, I think he'll be all right. So... Um, yeah, so far, Rodrigo, again, he's not bad, but I don't think he's going to be... Like, I think Anthony will go for, like, 10k. He, he was going for 10k earlier, so I think he will as well. Um, whereas, uh, yeah, the, I don't think Rodrigo is. Um, we have a walkout! Bruno! No way I've got an untradeable Bruno! That's sick! That is absolutely amazing! I am buzzing! Oh, my word! Let's go! That is sick! Oh, my word! Bruno Fernandes. I mean, that will pay for pretty much all these packs. Let's go. I've got an untradeable Bruno. I mean, I packed Bruno as well, but it being untradeable just makes it even better. Let's go. This is the Bruno I've been using. I've played four games with him. He scored two and assisted four. By the way, Bruno is genuinely class in this game. He is really, really good. And at the moment, I think he's about 200k. So him alone pretty much pays for these packs. Chill well. See you later. I've got to write him down. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, my word. That is amazing. Um, Bruno. Okay, we didn't get a board. I thought we got a board. Fernandes. Write that down on my little notepad. Let's go, man. Oh, my word. That is amazing. I am buzzing. Sorry if, if I'm being a bit over the top, but yeah, massive, massive Man United fan over here. Uh, it missed Man United himself. Oh my word, we love it. We've got another board here. Who have we got here? It's going to be Spanish centre-back Azpilicueta. Again, he's not going for much of the minute, so he's not going to be one that I make space for on the transfer list, sadly. Two Chelsea players in there, though. I give us like a Romelu Lukaku or something, EA. We'll take that. Who, by the way, at the moment, for those that are looking for sort of players to use, if you have a good, a good, a, a, you know, coin base, a good amount of coins to use, Lukaku, Haaland, the, the powerful strikers on this game are phenomenal. It's half the reason why I want to try Ronaldo out, really. Because the powerful strikers on this game are great. Now, if you can mix pace, power with good dribbling as well, you have got the perfect combination. Oh, I was hoping that'd be right back. Phil Foden's good, though. I'll take Phil Foden. That is good. That is really good. I'll take that. What is Phil Foden worth at the moment? He's going for about 15k. I think he goes for more than that when uh, when players start buying their, their teams and stuff like that. I already had a pack pulled version of him on there. I'm wondering, who on earth do I... Uh, oh, we get rid of Rodrigo. I didn't realize I had him there. I could have probably saved somebody else. All right, Phil Foden's decent, though. Foden is nice. 84 rated Foden. Um, we've got two packs left. These packs started turning up right at the end. They started getting good right at the end. Uh, I forgot what I was even saying. Uh, yeah, powerful, pacey, powerful strikes, which is why I think Ronaldo is going to be perfect for this kind of game because he's, he's he's quick, uh, he's got a good touch, and he's also powerful. Um, and having a, a good shot power as well is big. Um, I've found, like, goalkeepers are good in this game. They are very good. Um, as we get into the last pack, by the way, uh, goalkeepers are very good in this game. So, you know, if you've got good shot power, uh, you're more likely to beat the goalkeepers. And I think that was that was literally the last pack. That was pack number 50. So, all in all, I think we've done pretty well there. Like, if we look at the players that we've packed from 50 gold upgrade packs, we've got it's Malia Saar, Tielemans, Hummels, Felix, 
Anthony, Bruno Fernandes, and Phil Foden. They're the ones that I wrote down the notepad, the ones I thought were notable enough to go on there. Bruno goes for about 200k at the moment. I think he'll go, go for even more than that in the next couple of days. At the moment, Foden's about 15k. Jaffe is about 15k. So that's about 230. Tielemann's probably about 10k. 240. 250 add Sar. 260 add Anthony. I think that goes up to maybe 300 and something. Um, so we've made a really nice return. Now, that's not to say that you guys will make a great return. It's just that I think these are worth it if you have a 11 random goals chilling in your club and you've done other advanced SBCs and you just want to go for it. You might get lucky. That happens sometimes. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you lads later.